You have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. And yet, I'm one of the lucky ones. People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. We are in the beginning of a mass extinction. And all you can talk about is money and fairy tales of eternal economic growth. How dare you?
Provincial and industry officials involved in air monitoring talks declined to be interviewed for this story. Bob Willard, senior advisor at the Alberta Energy Regulator, agreed to speak about current regulations. Why aren't these things being monitored for in the gases that are coming out from flaring and incineration stacks? And The long list that you've identified would be a responsibility for monitoring not only the Alberta Energy Regulator, but uh, the Environment Department themselves. And uh, I would uh, direct you once again to ESRD for them to identify what their plans are relative to updating those guidelines. I have actually. I've tried valiantly, I'd say, to try to get them to to explain to me why they have these guidelines and say all industries must conform to these guidelines. And then I said, well, why does Directive 60, the Alberta Energy Regulator, only establish monitoring requirements for sulfur dioxide? And and he said, speak to the Alberta Energy Regulator. Um, it is important, and this is something the energy regulator does lead, is, is capturing the metrics of, of the volumes of material. So we do have good metrics as to the volume metrics. But essentially nothing about the composition of those gases other, other than sulfur dioxide. A totally accurate comp- composition, uh, I would certainly volunteer that no, we do not have a, a totally accurate comprehensive uh, information on the flare composition, rather. We have it for the, for the uh, volumes, but not necessarily for the compositions. It's unbelievable that that's not a requirement by the Alberta Energy Regulator. It's stunning.